Welcome to another segment of our Article 5 Primer, Why Haven't the States Used Article 5 Before Now? I'm Vicki Deffy, and I'm the editor of the State Legislator's Article 5 Caucus Newsletter. Article 5 is a new concept for a lot of Americans, including state legislators. But how new is it, really? Have the states ever even tried to have an Article 5 convention? The answer is yes. The first Article 5 application was passed by Virginia in 1788. Since then, the states have passed more than 400 applications at a steady pace. Hawaii is the only state in the Union that hasn't yet passed an Article 5 application. So why haven't we had an Article 5 convention yet? Once again, we can turn to our past to give us insights into the present. Frederick Douglass famously said, power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did, and it never will. What does this have to do with Article 5? If you watch part one in this series, you know that the delegates to the Constitutional Convention were very concerned that the government they were creating had the potential to become every bit as tyrannical as the one they had just cut ties with. That's why they included Article 5 as a means for the states to correct the balance of power and impose reforms on the federal government. If you thought you were doing a good job, would you want some outside group coming in to clip your wings? No, of course not. It's human nature. And Congress is no different, because they're human too. Throughout our history, we can see that once applications have begun to reach critical mass, Congress has moved to take action on its own. Congressionally proposed amendments followed the accumulation of Article 5 applications for the Bill of Rights, the abolition of slavery, the direct election of senators, the repeal of prohibition, and term limits for the president. Some argue that the 1985 Graham-Rudman Act was a legislative attempt by Congress to sidestep its duty to call a convention for a balanced budget amendment, for which there were 40 Article 5 applications in force at the time. Until very recently, Congress hasn't even had a mechanism to count and catalog Article 5 applications. I think it's fair to say that our elected officials in Washington have not demonstrated that they're supportive of the states getting together and telling them what they can and cannot do. Frederick Douglass was right. The states are going to have to stop asking and start demanding. <laughs>